Hunter on Amy. Today we're going to be baking a chocolate cupcake for Harley Quinn girl because today's her birthday and this cupcake is her favorite. So why not we do that for her birthday? Let's get started. So we have milk, butter, chocolate cupcake mix, two eggs, cupcake liners, measuring cups, a whisk to mix everything, a large bowl, sprinkles, and something to put the frosting on the cupcake. I am using a spatula or a baking brush. So now we already have all the ingredients. Let's start opening the chocolate cupcake mix and check the instructions. Okay guys, so they already say what you need at the back here and with the prepare time, baking time, and the pan you have to use. So first we preheat the oven. So these are the steps. Since we're starting now, let's check the first so step. Step one, beat cupcake mix, eggs, butter, and milk in a medium bowl. Okay, so let's take the chocolate cupcake mix out. Okay, I've opened it. Let's see what's inside. So there's paper cupcake liners, chocolate cupcake mix, and a chocolate frost pouch. So we're going to use our silicone cupcake liners because we're not going to use the paper ones because the silicone ones are easier to use. So we're drawing back the paper one back in the box. Okay, let's get started. Make sure before you start, you have an adult to help you with all the sharp tools and everything that's dangerous and that can hurt you. Okay, now we will start with the cupcake liners. Okay, so let's open the silicone cupcake liners. They're out! So you gotta wash them before using, or else you'll eat bacteria and germs. Just rinse them a little bit, don't need soap at all. We'll do the same with the mint colored silicone cupcake liners. Rinse, rinse, rinse! We have to cut open the chocolate cupcake mix. Tell an adult to help you if you're not sure how to cut. And pour it in. Now we'll add the eggs. First egg. And the second egg. Now let's put the butter. Let me open it. Let me peel this off. Okay, I'm done. Let's scoop some out. Now we add it to the bowl. They said we need a half a cup of milk. Can you help me find half a cup in all of these cups? Which one of these cups here is half a cup? That's right, it's the light blue cup. Let's take it out. And now we'll open the milk. Pouring time. And it's mixing time. Morning kids, after you mix and it's done, please don't eat the batter. It has raw eggs in it and it's really, really bad for you. You can get sick after you eat it. So please don't eat stuff that has raw eggs in it. Make sure you're cooked before eating. After you're done, scrape everything off of the whisk so you won't waste it. Time to pour it into the cupcake liners! Okay, 
so now I'll be starting to put them into the cupcake liners. Make sure it's not too full like how we did. We put too much, so that's why it looks too overflowed. So don't put too full, like don't put too much of it, or else you won't have enough for the other cupcake liners, and it will look really tall, taller than anything else. So just be careful when pouring the cupcake mix. It's baking time! you put the cupcake slowly into the oven because if you try to do it you'll burn your hands even though it's mittens it's, it's not gonna cover your full hand so call a uh, adult if you're not sure how to do it now after putting it in the oven we set the timer so we'll just set it for 14 minutes now let's just watch these tiny little peas rise! It's done! Call back the adult you called and Tell the adult that you want them to take out these cupcakes because you're super hot right now and it can be really dangerous if you touch them with your bare hands and also those bars and those metal bars and everything are still really hot. So tell someone to help you, tell an expert or anyone to help you with these dangerous things. Well, after all that hard work, these cupcakes are finally done! They look so beautiful! Wow, but they look too weird to be served out. Let's cover those weird parts and decorate it with frosting and sprinkles. First, let's cut open the chocolate frost pouch. It's done. Now, you'll just need to slowly add it on the cupcakes. Since I use a spatula, it's harder for me, but if you guys use a piping bag, then it's easier for you guys. And our spatula work is finished. I know it looks really trashy, but this is all I can do with a spatula. Well, it looks kind of good if you ask me. Now let's add the sprinkles. But first, we need to open it. Which sprinkle should I put? We'll pick those sprinkles because it looks just like Harley Quinn's favorite cupcake sprinkles. Now, I'm gonna change sprinkles. How do we put this glittery gold in sprinkles? I am going to make all the cupcakes, different colored sprinkles, multicolored, any color you can think of, I'll just mix all the sprinkles together. And it's done! So delicious! Here for Happy birthday, Harley Quinn! Oh, thank you! 
feel so weird you baked you something um what you eat, um strawberry twirl and little scribble really baked easter a cake so what? what else do you need to bake for um for your birthday um we baked your favorite cupcake oh my god oh yeah it looks so tasty wow. let me try it Mmm, so good. Luckily, I didn't get any um frosting on my mouth. Oh my god, this is so beautiful! Wow! <laughs> Moo Moo! <gasps> wow! <gasps> Those are so God, thank you, Aunt Amy. Wow. wow! You're welcome. See you, kid. Hope you learned how to bake this beautiful and awesome yummy chocolate cupcake. Bye! Bye, guys! Bye! Goodbye! <laughs> Goodbye! Bye! 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 Bye!